Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error 0x80245000C after Windows updates, then try the following solution sequentially. The first solution would be to check the status of all Windows update services. So press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command services.msc and hit enter to open the service manager window. Now check for the background intelligence transfer service and its status. It says running. Okay. We'll check the status of the windows update service. So let's scroll down till there. The windows update service is running and lastly the windows update medic service is also running. This means that the services are all good. Now we can run the Windows Update Troubleshooter and the Microsoft Store Troubleshooter as follows. So click on the start button, go to settings, scroll down to update and security, go to the troubleshoot tab, click on additional troubleshooters and you can run the Windows Update Troubleshooter from here and the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter from here. If this does not help either, then you can choose to disable the proxy connections at least temporarily to isolate the issue. Click on the start button, select settings, go to network and internet, scroll down to proxy, make sure that the switch associated with automatically detect settings is on and the one associated with manual proxy setup is off. If this is fine as well, then check the settings with the registry editor. Press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command REGEDIT and hit enter to open the registry editor window. In the registry editor window, go to the path HK local machine software policies microsoft windows and then windows update but since we do not see an option for windows update right click on windows select new key and name it windows update now hit enter to create this key in the right pane click anywhere in the blank window and select new D over 32 bit value and name this value disable windows update access click on anywhere outside this value and double click on it again change the value of value data to zero if it is uh, anything else and then click on ok to save the value this will make sure that there is no issue with the registry at all if neither of these solutions were helpful for you then please go to the original article on the windows club scroll down to the comment section and write your query we will surely answer to it do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching this video and have a nice day